there's a new official way to get first person mode in Fortnite. It's actually kind of amazing. So today we're gonna play around and figure this out. Maybe even add it to one of my maps. All right, let's start by looking at what some other people have done with this new device. This is Nuketown from Call of Duty. Uh, I wanna watch this in first person. Now, if I were this person, I'd be careful. I feel like Call of Duty DMCA. Anyone who had any of their maps on Fortnite back when UEFN came out. So I'm here before this gets taken down. Okay, so it's a little blurry at first. Sorry, this is just Twitter, guys. But okay, let's see. This is totally Nuketown and first person man it looks so good i'm wow look they're doing pretty good i feel like this is edited I, I hear some of the problems with the first person device are scoping in so i don't know if these scoping ins are edited or not uh oh i'm interested to really play this and see if we can figure it out but this looks fantastic in first person it looks just like a totally different game okay 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 let's look at some other things this is on an open map with geo geo this is kind of like the first video i saw with this actually working with the guns and everything Everything. They just got the positioning down just right so that you can see the gun. It feels like first person. It acts like first person. But uh, once again, I'm not seeing a lot of movement on this. So I don't really know how this feels. All right. One more here from Granto, who has made some insane like Call of Duty type zombie maps. Let's check this out. Ooh, it is so dark. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I love this like, you know, random loot box. This is really awesome. And the first person feels fantastic too. Okay. Now we've got the AR. Yeah, this looks really good. And man, this would really make maps scary. I think okay okay enough looking at other people let's jump in and figure this out okay so this is the device it's called the camera orbit device we're gonna place it down and let's actually play around with some of the settings here so the way this works and this is in 1.0 guys this is not uefn so anyone can use this you can see where the camera's pointing is where the camera will be like when you press start so like right now if i hit start you can see the camera is pointing over peely's shoulder just like it shows in this picture right there so what we can do is move the distance from our player down to zero and that's how you can see now when i push start like it feels like first person but you can see when i sprint even it kind of messes things up but we got to figure out how to fix that i think what we want is this camera to be like directly in their chest we're going to change the offset y down to zero and boom you can see there now it's right in our chest but when it's in our chest it looks like you can like we're in the middle of peely so that's not good we need to move it forward which is the x so let's just move that forward uh, i don't know 10 maybe 20 let's do 10 just see what that feels like you can see now it's still like kind of in our chest but let's see and when you look down it feels eh, i feel like we got to move that just one more forward and okay there we go now this is starting to feel pretty good actually i don't know if i like it like right in the middle because look when i'm sprinting you see peely as well it feels like the camera's going slow which i think we can control here we got horizontal speed let's just like max this out it looks like a thousand is the max that we can do here okay let's see if that makes this feel any different so when we were sprinting, so you can kind of see sprinting. It works better. Maybe, you know, Peely's probably not the best skin for this. Let's switch out of Peely because Peely's head is just massive. Let's see, who should we switch to? It's probably just a normal skin. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Kakashi will work. Okay, here we are with Kakashi. And look, it's still kind of getting in the way. We got to make some adjustments. I'm going to move my offset to 30. I'm going to change my field of view as well up to max field of view. And let's just see what that feels like. So boom. Oh yeah, look at that. We can see so much better. And we're not really running through our skin anymore. His hair kind of getting in there but it's feeling better actually i'm curious what it feels like when we pick up a gun okay let's pick up a assault rifle and a pistol let's try the pistol first oh look at that there it is i don't really love it over here to the right right by my face i feel like the camera needs to be a little bit more to the right let's switch that it moved it a little bit to the right let's see oh yes that's feeling a lot better it's more like center so when i fire it feels a little better eh, it doesn't feel like quite centered one thing that's interesting i'm noticing a problem so when i crouch you can see my player crouches but the camera doesn't crouch with me like the gun's going down but my camera's not so definitely not perfect there i don't know if there's a setting for that that is certainly an issue with this and another problem is this gun i have right now has a scope on it but when i scope in it just takes my reticle away it doesn't work at all actually i'm curious like if i use a heavy sniper like so here's our normal mode right and then we go into our first person mode what does it feel like so we're gonna scope in and yeah it doesn't work at all now there may be a way to solve this by coming out of first person with the input Input device like when someone right clicks it 
turns off first person mode, but then it goes into that. Let's just see if that works. All right, I've made it so when they press the target, it turns it off. And when they release it, it turns it back on. Let's just see what that feels like. Okay, let's grab our guns here. There we go. Okay, this is just like our normal. Okay, look. Eh, well, okay, this doesn't have a scope on it. Let's try the actual sniper. Okay, we're gonna pull out and then boom. And then, oh, hey, that's actually pretty smooth. It works really well when the gun is already out, but when I swap it and like, it's not always perfect, but it's pretty solid. Okay, now that we got this feeling pretty good, I just wanna see what it's like building with this. Okay, oh my gosh, we are building in first person. I'm not a good builder, guys, so don't judge my edit skills here. Here we go, we're gonna edit. Oh my gosh, just edit a bunch of windows, I guess. Oh man, I'm just so terrible, guys. Don't judge me. I told you I'm bad at this, but let's make a little door here. We're gonna go through. Okay, yeah, this actually, it doesn't feel terrible. Now, what does it feel like to mantle? Let's make us a little like ledge to mantle up on. Oh, hey. You know, it feels kind of weird, but it's not that bad. I mean, it feels kind of good. This is still not perfect. I think we need a true first person device. I don't know. I feel like this is good enough for a lot of maps. Like, I kind of want to go put this in my backrooms map. Let's do that. Okay, here we are in my backrooms, like entrance area. Oh man, I love this map. I think what I'm going to do is add a button at the beginning right here that says choose first person or not. So people can be in third person if they want. Because I don't know, first person could break some of the levels. I don't think so so though let me just get it set up and let's give it a try okay i think i've got this set up right i said turn on and off first person mode let's go boom oh we're in first person mode. And check it out we got the back rooms in first person oh my gosh this is insane okay wait crouch is still kind of messed up but it feels pretty good let's go through some of the levels oh i love it there's the car that hits the wall let's just get to the exit part of this level we go past the mailbox and that's how we know we're here, here we go crouch through this Oh, look, we're sliding through it. Oh, man, this level looks fantastic in first person with the lighting and everything. Let's do the one where Peely chases us. Oh, look. Oh, that's cool. Opening the doors. You can see the hand come out and push. Oh, look, look we got some zombies. Oh, my gosh, the zombies. Ah, the zombies killed me. I was not ready. Oh, my gosh. They are terrifying in first person. Look at them. They're coming right at me. Run. All right, we made it to this level. Okay, this is where Peely chases us. Let's just go through and let's see. Yeah, look, there he is back there. We got to run fast, though. Oh, this is definitely going to be harder when the crouch isn't perfect but you know what i think this is still really fun even though it's not perfect you can see kakashi's like head over there but if it's been a while since you played through this map this might be a fun way to come back and revisit it, it kind of feels totally different with this uh first person mode pretty cool once again the first person isn't perfect i feel like they really will have to come out with like an actual first person device where you just flip it on and off and then it works perfectly because this is just just not perfect Hey, we're in the pool rooms. Oh, we're swimming in first person. Okay, this actually is kind of janky. Swimming in first person. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. I mean, you can kind of see your character's head. It works okay when you're just looking straight though. So they're either gonna have to come out with a first person device or they're gonna have to make a few adjustments to this device to make it work perfectly. But this is a huge step in the right direction. Like, this is pretty fun. And it's nice that you can activate and deactivate it. We don't have to use the dang like helicopter pad anymore. Oh, actually this level's a lot easier than these enclosed spaces it's much easier in first person so there it is guys i've just submitted this for review be sure to come back later and play through in first person here's the code to the map have fun